everybody, it's your boy Z Man coming back at you guys for a uh, quick interruption in this video here. First off, I want to say my apologies for the lack of content I haven't gotten out to you guys in the past week or so. Um, the last video I got was a closed Ryan's here in Somerville, and that's it. I haven't had anything else, or I haven't put out anything else for you guys. That's my apologies. I'm working on, I have plans to get videos out but you know life takes its toll on what your plans are because I have plans of its own so you know have to respect that in a sense anyways man um, you can see hair is coming back as always I love it man I love these curls dude like so much better than what I was rocking with a couple months ago but anyway aside from that so I just wanted to drop this in about Pier 1 imports if you guys haven't already heard the company is closing all of its locations worldwide, so Pier 1 will be a thing of the past after all the stores are gone. It's really sad, and, you know, I can't say I didn't expect that to happen, because he did, but at the same time, man, that's just, the company actually wanted to end their operations. So you gotta be doing pretty terrible as financially and any other type of business aspect for you to want to close all your stores down but so I should be able to get another store at least two other pier one imports uh, recorded and documented for you guys to get out uh, this one is very small and very short um, sorry about that I have to stretch here <laughs> anyways um, this was a very small store I only got in total about five minutes of footage from here so I just wanted to go ahead and drop in and give you guys a quick back history on the on the company and you know what led them up to this point so we will go ahead and get to that thanks for watching and enjoy the video okay so before we even get into the video i just wanted to kind of acknowledge how many failed attempts that i had just recording that one clip so here's a little mini little blooper highlight reel on those like I think it was four times so anyway hope you get a laugh out of my failure to completely <laughs> finish getting a clip so hope you enjoy that hey what's up everybody it's your boy Z man coming back at you guys really quickly for this little introduct uh, introduction dang it uh, anyway I just want to go ahead and and uh, no oh my freaking currently Sunday when I'm doing this, um, Sunday. Freaking Saturday, man. Can I just do a clip, man? Oh my freaking... You got stuff flying around and stuff. Just trying to do a video. Alright, so I hope that put a smile on you guys' faces there. Just watching me being clumsy with the camera. What can I say? It's just me. <laughs> Anyways, I, um, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys the history and backstory of Pier 1 Imports really quickly, and I say quickly because I know no one wants to listen to me ramble on and bamboozle about Pier 1 Imports for 6 minutes, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So Pier 1 Imports was founded in San Mateo, California is when they started off in 1962. Um, their headquarters was established in 1966 with 16 store locations, and their headquarters was founded in Fort Worth, Texas. In 1970, they went public and became listed on the American Stock Exchange, and two years later, they joined the New York Stock Exchange with operating 123 stores and celebrating 100% sales gains for four consecutive years, so starting off pretty good. Uh, in 1979, a store in Royal Oak, Michigan was the first to reach $1 million in annual sales, so pretty daggum good if I have to say so. In the 90s, they continued to grow internationally as their first store opened in Puerto Rico in 1993. And they opened boutiques in Sears de Mexico stores, which was Sears's brand of Mexican stores. In 2012, they introduced their PeerOne.com website. And in 2017, they introduced a new and improved trade perks program. So that was basically the quick backstory of Pier 1. Uh, there's a lot more details I can go and dive into. Like I said, I just want, for time's sake, I just want to go ahead and address the main parts of it and not every inch and detail of their backstory there. Go ahead and check out the Pier 1 website, which I will have linked in the description to find out the exact details of their history. And yeah, let's go ahead and roll that footage. So what about 
Something loaded in here right now. Crazy. What is that? Thank you guys for making it all the way through the video. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me as well if you also go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to make it to 300 subs by the end of the summer. So if you could help me out, that would really appreciate it. Huge shout out to Team 7 channel. I know he actually shouted me out on his community post. So thanks so much for that, man, if you're watching this video. Huge shout out to everyone that's just been, you know, in the retail community that's been making content and releasing it. I've seen a lot of videos, so huge shout out to you if you're watching this video as well. My condolences to everyone in light of everything that's been going on. BLM. So anyways, man, be sure to make the best of your every moment. Thanks for watching, and thanks for choosing Z-Man. Until I see you guys next time, peace out.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 